So hello YouTube and welcome to another video. In this week's video I'm going to be showing you some photos of me from 2009 to 2020 because I don't have any really for 2021. So 2009, what a cracking start. As you can see the teeth, they are there indeed. I dressed up as Vivian from The Young Ones and you can see that I, I really gave it my best shot. It's only gonna get worse from here, let's be honest. Okay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of the show, apparently. I was a big fan of the, the eyeliner, I think. I was also a big fan of Black Veil Brides. Um, that's why I've tried to do my makeup like them. See, the thing is, I see stuff like this and I wonder, like, I always wondered then, like, why don't I have any friends? Why was I wondering? <laughs> I can't help. I let my mum take a photo of me like that. Why would I allow that? Fuck it now. Okay. I don't know what the joke was here. I know I was with my best friend, but I don't know what the joke was. Maybe it was me. Maybe I was the joke. A big fan, as I said, of David Tennant. Um, still am. Why? <laughs> right. Basically, I think the reason why there's always straw in my teeth is because I had braces and I was obsessed with sticking shit in it. Again, a very obsessed with Black Pearl Brides, if you haven't noticed already. Does it get better in 2013? Moderately, I would say. I would say I've decided to go with very fluorescent eyeshadows. Uh, why I've done that, I don't know. Best of British, that was a show that I um, participated in and hosted. The hosting actually scared me more than the participating, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still on a certain type of phase of looking dead as fuck. <laughs> My lord. It was a joke. It was a joke is what I was trying to make here of our chabs and makeup. Yeah, I saw one of my drama teachers. I was hiding on the floor. I don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. As you do, just eating a, a winder on the floor. <laughs> Fun fact, I wasn't actually allowed in the sixth form because I was a part of um, a different like part of the school but I used to because all my friends were there I used to come upstairs and just sit there you know when you should be doing work you're just pulling creeper faces you can see them how much I hate my life that is what I like to call the peak of 2014 what Ryan likes to call my lesbian t-shirt and Healy's as a combo <laughs> and that was when I was doing a Little Women and the Miserable. I was in both of those. Oh yeah, 2015, I remember this photo. That was the first day of my induction to my job. First job I've had, the only job I've had. Toast. <laughs> uh, that's when I started also um, doing a lot more powerlifting. So I started to get a couple more medals and trophies around that time. And my eyebrows apparently started to uh, grow. Doctor Who. I love a bit of Doctor Who. 2016 was peak powerlifting. So um, in 2016, not only in January did I injure my back, but I also got accepted into the squad for the 2016 Euros and Worlds. Um, I think I've only got a couple of photos for that. Uh, that was a junior championship at the end of the year where everything went downhill. <laughs> a bit of flexing <laughs> for you. Um, I don't even know the context of that. Oh yeah, that was when I nearly broke my back. <laughs> that was in the Europeans when I lifted um, I think it was 140 that got me the bronze deadlift. I was really proud of that though. And apparently, um, I like that dress a lot because <laughs> that's the dress I wore to pretty much every occasion for like the next two or three years. 2017, that's when my back started to decrease a lot more. So yeah, I look like I'm enjoying myself, but I think there was only 100 kilograms on the bar and I couldn't even lift that properly. Popping open a cold one with the lads. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Why am I? I think I'm in my room on the floor. Oh yeah, that's when me and Ryan made it official. That's when I went to Insomnia as well, because Insomnia Gaming Festival, like, that was one of the best gaming festivals I've ever been to. This photo is included because of the eyebrow definition. They started to get proper dark and thick, <laughs> and I don't understand what was going on. 2018, I took up golf. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I remember golfing, but I didn't realise it was 2018. I went to Harry Potter Studios, really enjoyed it as well. I really want to go back there, but, like, at Christmas time when they do the buffets and stuff, and all the new, um, bits they included like Gringotts as well, I'd really like to go and see that. Oh yeah, when I went to Disney, Disney was one of the best holidays I've ever had in my entire existence, no jokes, like we went at Halloween and it was so good, that's pure happiness right there. And apparently I took up running because I hated myself. <laughs> oh, 2019, passed my driving test, haven't really driven since then, don't think I can remember how to drive so. Met David Tennant met the one and only David Tennant. It was quite sad, I could only meet him for a couple of seconds, but that's, I think, apart from Disney, peak life right there. 
got a haircut apparently, haven't had a haircut since 2019, probably should have had one at the beginning of 2020 just to sort this out, but never mind. I think, I think there's some type of glow up, there's a lot of editing involved though, like my eyes are not that big in real life. And then we've got the toll 2020. Um, <laughs> Yeah, 2020, that is how 2020 felt. <laughs> that was lockdown birthday. Uh, I think I cut my own fringe there, which was, a, which was a mistake. I'm not doing that this year. I think I might just miss out cutting my own fringe, especially on the day of my birthday. That was a stupid thing to do. You can tell half of these are edited photos as well, because let's be honest, my skin doesn't look that good in real life. There's a certain type of glow up though. There is a glow up, I think. I think I've glowed down since then, if anything, but like, you know, there is certain elements. And then you just have that. <laughs> Oh my god. Pennywise. Because <laughs> Ryan took the phone and he's only looked like Pennywise. I wish I could say that's a filter, but I'm fairly certain that is the shape of my head. So, <laughs> I mean, my cheeks have obviously, you know, changed, but I'm, I'm fairly certain my head is the shots. Anyway, 2021, I might pop up a couple of photos here of... 2021 Megan looks like. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and leave in the comments any other videos you'd like me to make and I shall see you later, YouTube. Bye!